So earlier in the seance program, I'd used this thing called the spirit cabinet, which is one of my favourite mediumistic props. It's, yeah. it's just feels to me like great theatre and so many kind of bizarre things happen. Uh, Do you want to go? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 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 How'd okay. you go? And uh, yeah. it was through performing that that I got to know Ian Sharkey. <laughs> I was in, this is my first year of university, and I got asked to, to be on the seance, which was like a really clever ghost train. It really, really felt that at the time. What you see, I mean, that was genuine. That's a genuine emotional response from me, and was genuine fear. You've broken it. You've broken it. What happened? What happened? I don't know. I just needed to get out. I don't feel right. That's really weird. <sighs> Talk me through it. I remember really feeling, I have to know how he does that. I've just got to know. Ian was studying creative writing, so I said to him, do you want to come and write on the show? Yeah, no. Yeah. And that was it. We became great friends, and now he's um, my creative other half. So sit facing that way. Facing this way. Yeah, yeah. Got the old, uh, got the old Ouija board out today. Um, we are going to run through some really early ideas. I hold the point around the other way, so it taps. I think the tapping will be. Sometimes we just like to kind of try these half ideas on their feet and see see what they kind of look like. So that's that's our fun job for today. Is this creepy with a real automaton? Well, when will Everton win the cup? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I think the one yeah, thing that yeah. really hits you about Darren is his sense of humour. <laughs> you know, it's when, when you're working with him, you're, there, there are days when we're crying with laughter, and then from that, these weird ideas will come. But it's, it's, it's like that every single day, you know. Put the mask on and just slip <laughs> your, your top off. We'll carry on. When it comes to actually writing the TV shows, there'll be a two-week slot. We've got to come up with ideas. We need two ideas for specials. <laughs> OK, so at that point, you, that's the only chance you get to think. The writing process with Darren is really interesting. You have to start with the end, so you've got to start with the final stunt and then work backwards to a logical beginning. The heist is probably a good example of this sort of writing process, that you work backwards. So if you missed the start of the show, this is Gresham Street in the City of London. The Bank of England is just down there. We have a fake security van, a fake security guard, and £100,000 of real money. The heist had come out of an idea whereby I might use my skills to rob a bank. And it just felt like, wouldn't it be more interesting to have somebody else do it? The whole point of heist is how do you get good people to do terrible things, like a, an armed robbery. Everything from day one right to the final stunt has to be massively stage managed. You know, every tiny nuance has to be thought out. And cue car. So the car goes past with the with the music blaring, and there's the colour green and the, the do it slogan on the on the poster, and uh, all the triggers create what could be uh, a potentially criminal urge. It was really really exciting. Excuse me, mate. Put down, put down. I'll tell you what, mate. You try anything, you're dead, all right? If you've got family, fucking Mate, if you move, I swear to God, you're dead, mate. So, it's a very interesting and quite difficult writing process to create a drama for somebody who maybe doesn't even know that they're part of it. All right, here, come with me. That I'd see you lurking. Yeah, I, I have a deck of cards, and there's this, you sort of... <laughs> <laughs> That's really creepy. Yeah. Uh, I'll try someone else. Semester, yeah, that's an idea. Yeah, let, let's try somebody else, or... Um... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs>